Hey guys, welcome back to another part of the LT250R build. This one is going to be the one where this motor right here goes into my frame. So that is the main objective of this video. The first thing I'm going to be doing is taking this here. This right here is the water pump cover. Goes right here, just like that. And I'm going to polish this because as you can see, it's looking pretty dull. So I'm just gonna throw this in the buffer, which is over there. Get it all looking nice and mint. Throw it on, throw the head on, put some of the little stuff on, like um, the uh, the main thing here. This piston, it's got a new Wiseco and rings in there. I'm gonna throw that on and she should be ready to throw in the bike. So without further ado, let's get into finishing this motor. And boom, it's done. This is how it turned out. Uh, it looks pretty good. Now the next step I'm gonna do is remove this old gasket because you don't want this in here. You don't wanna do all this and have it leak. Uh, these can be kind of a pain to get out and in. Uh, if I could find something to pry it with, it would be nice. Uh, I think I've got something over here to pry it with, but makes uh, makes a difference when you polish it. It just looks better. And with it being on the motor, here's a rough estimate. So that's why I went with polished there and black here because I knew that this was going to have a big polish piece on it anyway. So it still has that cool polished look. Now I am going to put the new gasket in and install this thing. Now that this is done, I am going to move on to the next step, which I think is going to be removing this old piston. Let me move this camera so you could actually see what I'm talking about. This piston needs to come off. This is the old one. This is the stock 67 millimeter. This right here, oh, it's upside down. In this Wiseco box is a brand new I even got the little baggie and everything. Wiseco piston. I know it's not the greatest piston in the world, but it's a good piston. Um, this, see the holes are drilled there for the bridge. And this is a 67.5. So we only went up um, 0.5 millimeters. Uh, I've got one more bore left in this top end, but this should be okay for where I'm at. Um... Now, just got to remove the circlips in that old piston and uh, gap the rings, make sure they're all good. I believe that he gapped them already, the guy who did my bore, but I just want to make sure. I don't want to do anything, you know, wrong. You can see the rings in there, the wrist pin, all that good stuff. Uh, that's all in that bag. But now I am going to remove this old piston. As you can see guys, the old piston is off. This piston is not the nicest one either. You could tell that they didn't drill the holes uh, like the new one has for that the bridge. So that wasn't getting proper lubrication. Um, overall though, this piston is in good shape. I believe that they grenaded this thing, then slapped in a new piston that was stock size. Um, these bearings, they look okay. As you can tell here, they're not bad. So I'm gonna be reusing that. 
those needle bearings, but I believe that was the fault uh, originally when this motor did blow up the first time and they just kind of slapped it together to sell it, which is kind of a shame. Um, but yeah, she's ready to go. Now I'm going to be putting on the new piston and rings. This is kind of a, a cool moment because finally this thing is, is going to be bolted up. Okay guys, so ignore everything being done. This is shot way in the future of when I first shot this video. But I am an idiot and I put the piston in and I forgot to put these in. These are the billet thrust washers. I'm gonna make a separate video on that, so if you wanna learn how to do these, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do that now. I got the motor covered, obviously, for now. But let's go install these, and we'll get back to you when I put the jug back on. Now, guys, you can see that my piston has been installed, the new one. Arrow, oop, knock the camera. Arrow is facing the right way. So we're good there. Now I have to gap these rings. Oh, that was scary. Now I gotta gap these rings. I believe that they're already gapped, judging by them being outside of the packaging. But if you wanna learn how to gap rings, I strongly recommend you go on Michael Sabo's channel. He made a video showing you how to do it. Uh, I used that information. I was going to do these, but of course, they have already been gapped. So I'm going to now put them in. Uh, it's always fun putting rings on your brand new piston. Uh, I'm an idiot. Put these on the wrong way. Ha! Huh. Maybe I should have uh, watched the video before I did this. I did watch that video, by the way. The only thing that I didn't do was watch it recently. Because if I watched it recently, I would know you shouldn't do the top one first, you dummy. There we go. Just like that. Rings are in. All right, so now you can see that the engine is now taking shape. I kind of lost all the footage of me actually installing that, the, uh, the cylinder there. But remember to line up your rings on the piston because I didn't, and then it hit me. Oh, wait a minute, you gotta line up the little dots. And then it went right on. So now that is all done, I'm going to torque down the bolts that hold the cylinder on, and I'm actually gonna hit record this time, and then I think it should be pretty good and ready to go. I'm excited, guys. Let's do this. Walk down thy boat! And there we go. The head, or not sorry, the cylinder is now attached. And look at that. That is exactly the look I wanted. Oh, it looks so cool. Let's see how this matches. I have the, uh... oh, that's almost, oh, that's almost identical. Of course, this will be there, however the hell it goes. It'll be there. And it actually matches like perfect. I am so happy about that. I might dust that like I did with this to give it that little bit of a metallic, but man, I am happy about that. Well, that's really cool. So next order of business will be also on here. And that is, where is it? Right there. Power valve. 
I am going to tackle the power valve because that needs to be done. Um, I took out most of it because of the porting that was done. I had to take um, these off, but yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to throw the, eh, maybe I won't throw the reeds on. I was thinking of throwing the reeds and the boots on, but maybe I won't. I don't know. Maybe I won't and I'll wait to do that when it's in the engine. I'm going to really, really clean uh, the top of the cylinder to uh, make sure my head goes on nice and there's no leaks because these are notorious for that. Uh, they leak like crazy. That's a, what it will look like once the head gasket's on. But yeah, it's, it is starting to look like something and I am getting excited and I really want it in the bike, but yeah, let's do that. Okay, the head gasket and head have been installed. So fingers crossed that there are no leaks when we uh, put some coolant in this. Oh, I really, really hope it doesn't leak. That would really suck because that means another head gasket, taking the head off, putting a new one in, putting it back all on, and it's just, it's just a pain. Well, it's just, please work. I would really like you to work, but that's all done. Um, the last, like I said, I still had to do the power valve stuff. Uh, I got to actually go on Partzilla and look up the diagram because I can't remember. Uh, I got to go grab those parts too. Um, yeah, but other than that, this is the general look of the motor. Now, I do have, if I could find it, the polished, oh, that's downstairs, polished cover here. For the uh, power valve, as you can see, you can see all the assembly in there. I gotta put back together. It's really easy. It's not that difficult. I just gotta do it. Um, once I do that, I'll put the gasket on this one. Put that on. Put the new polished uh, thing on there. Oh, also, I got this. This is actually a pretty rare thing with my exhaust, the flange for the FMF. I could not find these anywhere. Luckily, the guy I bought my exhaust from still had it, and he just gave me it. A uh, huge thank you, Mike. You know who you are. Uh, now I'm gonna put this on right there. Can't forget my, my gasket. Don't wanna forget that. But that goes in there, like so, and then that goes on. Um, I guess what I got to do when I install the pipe is make sure that it's the motor is not completely hard mounted because if it is, you can't get the pipe around, which is so stupid. Uh, we found that out on Joe's. So I'm going to make sure that that all works. So let's move on to the power valve and I'm going to throw this on as well. Well, I kind of hooked that up a little bit. I don't really exactly know how to do it. I'm just going to leave it like that, and I think I'm going to leave this open for now, uh, just so I can uh, adjust it while it's in the frame, because that's what I think I'm going to do, because they have to be set right, and I truly don't know how to do it, so I'm going to wait on that on the other side here. See, I got the dial on. I got to put the plate over it, but that's that. So I think the next step is to put it in there. Just kidding. I have to put this flange on, but that'll take me uh, 0.2 seconds because it's literally the easiest thing ever. So I'm going to pretend like I did it. Yes, I did. Okay, guys, I am an idiot. This head is on backwards. The motor mount should be facing that way. Ah, uh, dumbass of the year award. Alrighty, guys, we're good. I fixed it as you can see there. And I got it kind of mocked up. This bolt is complete garbage, I realized. So I'm not going to actually bolt it in just yet. But that is our first look at the motor in the frame. Sorry, guys. I kind of got a little uh, flustered there. But then I realized, oh, wait a minute. This gasket has never even had a heat cycle on it, so it should be okay. 
So I got it in there, just kind of mocked up. But like I said in the video, this motor will be in the frame at the end of the video, and it is. So next video, I'm going to be hard mounting it um, and possibly giving it its first start. Probably not, but this is where I am at the current moment. I got my exhaust sitting here. Let's see how it looks on. It'll look good. Uh, let me put the camera down. I've just got it kind of rusting there, but this is... Uh, this is where we're looking. Oh my God, it's taking shape. This looks so good. So without further ado, this is going to end this video. Look at my hands. I'm done working for tonight. I got work at eight in the morning. Smash that like button, subscribe for more awesome content, and have a great day.